Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter and welcome to the top three Unity assets for July, August 2025. And this month has over 145 different free assets. I've got the full list that I'll put down in the description. It's got a selection of editor extensions, models, particle systems, full characters, effects, projects, and so much more. I'll show you the best ones in this video. And let me know which ones are your favourite. Do be sure to throw a like and subscribe because it always helps me out. And be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. The first one is something called Free Outline. But this is a practical version for outlines, which is just basically for simple outlines. And you can render this across different layers. It's got a custom UI. The basic functionality to just make some simple outlines for any style game. We've got the Iron Juggernaut, which is a complete low poly character with different subdivisions, around 35,000 triangles with 2K textures that can be used with your own animations really easily. The next one is something called Core Collapse, which is a modular structure and collapsing system, which allows you to create environmental destruction with modular destruction elements. So you can collapse in a really efficient way to easy slice and use this across different objects. This is for the starter assets, but it's called the Superman add-on. And this has the ability for using Unity's starter assets with the flying animation pack, or you can use your own animations, which allows you to uh, fly around basically like Superman. So like a Superman sandbox type of traversal with different movement mechanics, moving up and down and flying around. We've got the low poly Asia bundle, which is a set of 247 different models across buildings and other Asian themed environmental assets. We've got something called a Feel Speak Light, which is a dialogue system to be able to create nice little unique dialogues just as you want. So this is completely node based, non-linear, you control the text, different voice lines, and you can even fast forward, use emotions and define different characters. You can also check out Unity Summer Sale, which is now on and you'll find amazing assets at up to 70% off. Next one, we've got something called the Rope Generator, which allows you to create realistic style ropes with realistic physics. You can customize the length, the width, and the different materials, and it's got a unique editor to be able to customize that with one click and adjust the parameters as you go. Next one here is something quite useful. It's called the Easy Audio Cutter. And this is a Unity editor tool with an interface which allows you to use a single button to preview, play and pause, to loop, to cut and to edit different waveforms directly in the editor. We've got an asset called the Runtime Editor Camera. So if you were looking to build a game which is either for debugging or you're going to build your own building system or simulation tool, this allows you to pan, rotate, move, zoom, focus and switch projection all in a way directly in the editor so you can make this happen like it would. Next one is something called the mesh seam blending. So if you get anything that objects that intersect with others, you get quite a harsh seam across there. And this allows you with a post processing effect to blend that more easily and create a more subtle edge. Next one is called the footstepper lightweight footstep solution. So this is an automatic way to play footsteps based on surface materials and different character movements and animations. This doesn't require any coding at all. And this works out the box with both unity terrains, meshes and different customizable features. And the next one is the paddle ball project with scriptable objects. And it's a direct project from unity to show you how to make a pong style game using scriptable objects with the newest patterns for popular types of data controllers, event types, enums, and teaches you a lot of the basics. Next one is the Data Night Cycle HDRP. So this is exactly as it suggests. It's got customizable lighting, time control, and a demo scene to create a basic data night system. We've got the Task List, which is a simple editor tool which allows you to quickly add tasks, create goals, and make edits. So anybody who's looking at this, you can have priority creation dates, different things that are in the backlog. And it's a great way for keeping notes of exactly what you've been using. We've got something called the combat graph. This is a visual editor to speed up real time combat to use in 2D and 3D games. So you can quite easily create buffs, debuffs and different actions that happen when you need to do basic versions of combat. And the last one in here is the multipass FX fur and cloud suitable for even iOS and Android. And there is support for mesh renderers, skin mesh renderers and particle systems and it's all rendered with GPU instancing. So that's all the assets that I'm featuring for this video. I'll put them all down in the description so you know exactly what you can get hold of. 
let me know in the comments which one's your favourite. And do be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out Unity's summer sale right now because it's up to 70% off on some of the most popular assets. And a big thank you to all my patrons. Massive thank you to Very Shooter, Party of Ten and everybody else who comes to watch the videos. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.